Bill Murray. But after seeing this bullshit right here, we had to return to set the record straight. The real film TV, we're just curious to know how much did Lil Bam pay you to make this bullshit ass video? You're trying to make it seem like he's just a real stepper and he's a part of Ratchet Committee when people have really died behind this shit on both sides and this is really not funny and not cool of Lil Bam. But the real film TV, we will give you a pass because you don't understand what's going on. If you don't like what we say, your mom look like an elephant seal mixed with the Texas horn lizard. And the lady you slept with last night look like Fat Boo from Dragon Ball Z. They go for the won't be pussy gangster niggas about my city too. Don't compare them to them niggas. You hear me, nigga, get that Roy Jack. You hear me, come back front, front for the insta like you just, yeah. I ain't nigga know about all that little bitch that shit going on in the city, my head. Hey, yeah, Jigsaw open a hole too. Him and that little boy friend. I ain't now want a nigga come confront me about this shit on live. They were talking. Oh, God. You hear me? And I ain't take shit they say they don't take from a nigga. Boy, this hoe, man. Talking about gangster of the year. We're getting straight to the chase. Lil Ben, nobody even knew who the fuck you were until this supposedly 100 shots was fired. But it turns out they weren't even shooting at you. What the fuck? And guys, we're on neither side because there are guys on SOD, BBG side, and Ratchet Committee side that are really living like that. Every so often you get old pussy ass nigga out of street, but we understand he's only 17, but oh my goodness, like why are you trying to jump into some beef that have nothing to do with you that's been going on for years, and you're not even in the streets in Shreveport? You're 17 years old, right? And the guys that you're dissing are like 21, 22 years old, so at what point in your life did you get to beef with them because you just turned 17 in October? So when you were 16, you weren't even in Shreveport, so like when did you ever come across these guys to beef with them? It is also rumored that you have an RBN guy in jail right now for shooting at him, he told the police. So why wasn't you firing back when they were shooting at you? You were running. Why you weren't firing back? Where were you? I heard in the video, guys say, what band at? We don't do that in Shreveport. We bust back when we're getting busted. at. Yeah, around that age, though, like 12 through 14, you know what I'm saying? Where I was really just, yeah, you know, getting into that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. So how old were you when you jumped off the porch? Man, shit, I was young. Shit, I probably like, what, 13, 14? Yup. Yeah. Oh, God. Shit. But like, man, it's just, like, I always had, I always had some shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always was in, in a mix of something, though. Like, my mama, like, I can always remember my mama just putting her through so much shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as having to come up there to the motherfucking, I'm talking about going all way back to where she had to go, you know what I'm saying, to the school for a nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, when a nigga was getting expelled and suspended and shit back to back. Like, man, like, hell yeah, man, nigga done been through so much. Wow, you gave your mom a hard time growing up because you got expelled from school when you were 13 or 14? Wow. Lil' Ben, name one person from Shreveport you had a fight with, who you had a shootout with, when you went to jail, what, what have you done in Shreveport, please? And no shit that you need to make adjustments to. So, like, the area in your city that you from, like, do y'all call it, like, a specific uh, thing? You know how people, like, name Yeah, it. yo, yo, that's their ratchet, you hear me? Sure. That's their ratchet. <laughs> Shout out their ratchet. You been out basically, basically like all your life though? Oh yeah, for sure. In my city. So like, how would you describe your upbringing like as a shorty coming up out there? Man, uh... And this man asked Lil Ban, what do they call the area in the city that he's from? Like basically his neighborhood. He said, that ratchet, that ratchet. Is this nigga even from Shreveport? And in every interview, you try to make it seem like you've just been through so much, but you never say what you've been through besides getting expelled from school. Like, what have you been through? And every interview that he does, he never even talks about shit. He just be talking. He never gets to a point. And guys, we're steady trying to figure out, like, how did this guy even sign a record deal? Like, nobody in the city knew him. We knew Ratchet Life, Blue Benji Kobe, Bankroll Bug, Lil Man, guys like that that are buzzing in the city. But nobody even knew this fucking guy. Like, nobody knows him. In interviews, he never say what neighborhood he's from. Like, he's just a blank guy from Shreveport, supposedly. I don't believe it. We think he's from Mansfield. If you come from good parents, just say that then. And if you're from my city, just take a look at him. He looks like he want to be S.O.D. Lil Man. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh like a lot of a lot of wisdom you know what i'm saying a lot of wisdom at, a, at a, you know what i'm saying at an early age and knowledge you know what i'm saying like as far as you know it just it just i'm built you know what i'm saying i'm built you know what i'm saying like and i think i think that comes from a lot of you know what i'm saying i think it comes from a lot a lot of me being from you know what i'm saying the environment that i'm from you know like but uh almost definitely uh, uh, uh. So based on your environment, what morals and values do you feel like really speak to you as an artist or what you really want to stand for? I'm, I'm, I'm more of that, uh, like I'm more of a close, you know what I'm saying, close shit, like when it come to, you know what I'm saying, when it come to me as an artist, you know what I'm saying, and uh, like, I'm, like I'm very... Never saw no one with so much shit they've been through, but can't even talk about nothing. And here's a picture with him, and guess where he's at? He's posted in Peach Street. And he's talking about PSY. These guys are friends with Lil Man and everyone in SOD, basically. But what the fuck? What school did you...
would you go to? You know what? It don't even matter. We're done with this clown. Right to see news breaking. Three, two, one. I'm gonna make right to see news. I can't put this in y'all face. Make right to see news. Put this bankroll. Drop that bag. I can't do that. Make right to see news. I gotta expose my hand to make it. It's crazy. I gotta expose my fucking hand to make right to see news. Oh. Yeah, my Them bitches big as fuck. Yeah, my The dirt ass no. up. Then the first do a real nigga out of Duke's thing in your draw. Then the big boss is out of Duke's thing in your draw. Oh, God, you got a Duke's thing in your Bitch, come out and let me. Come, come here, bitch, with your giraffe looking ass. Big shoe ass, bitch. <laughs> the dirt ass, ho. I'm, I'm most hated. <laughs> And he's been scared since his friend 54 Trigger has been in jail. And I would not lie. This nigga looks like a pussy. If he was next to a female's pussy, you'd probably fuck him on accident. You fucking Ice JJ Fish looking motherfucker. JaVale McGee looking ass nigga. I ain't doing nothing about comparing them people. Just listen to they me. They said it with you. Damn, and, these people, they say, and now they saying I need two more co-signers and everything. Man, he Guys, this is why 54 Lil Mori was crying. He has a warrant for felon with a firearm and domestic abuse. Yeah, we hear he beat a bitch ass because she was playing crank that soldier Mori in the little dance. And he started beating the fuck out of her. Damn, Lamar, you been hiding from the city and the police. When he get in the parish, he gonna be crying saying, Bitch, come bum me up. Oh, could be homeboys in here. And Dion is gonna slam dunk your head in one of the motherfucking toilets. <laughs>